Hello and welcome to the Rare Record Room. I've been collecting vinyl for around 40 years now. I was buying records in the late 1970s and during the 80s through to the 90s and beyond when records were no longer in vogue and proved rather difficult to find. My collection is mostly guitar based music from the 50s through to the 90s covering rock and roll through rhythm and blues, beat, psychedelia, rock, soul, funk, punk and new wave, pop and brit pop. It comprises around two and a half thousand records, mostly LPs, although there's a few hundred seven inch singles, EPs and 12 inch singles. Most original pressings or unusual versions. And my aim in these videos is to show some of the more interesting that I have, or at least the ones I find interesting. If you do too, please feel free to hit the like button and check out my other videos. In previous videos I have covered Georgie Fame and the Blue Flames recordings from 1964 to 5, in particular their first two LPs, Rhythm and Blues at the Flamingo and Fame at Last, and their UK number one single Yeah Yeah. In this episode I will be concentrating on Georgie Fame's remaining recordings for the Columbia label during 1966 to 7, with and without the Blue Flames in support, before his move to CBS Records. Georgie Fame's first seven inch release of 1966 was the song Get Away in June, a self composition which had been written as a jingle for National Fuels. Some original pressings credit the title as one word, Get Away. The record was a great success and reached number one in the UK singles charts in July 1966. The song was recorded as part of the sessions which produced the third LP by Georgie Fame and the Blue Flames, titled Sweet Things. This LP is a superb mix of rhythm and blues, soul, pop and country music and has been described as one of the finest British rhythm and blues LPs of the mid-1960s. All the tracks on this one are covers of songs from the likes of Smokey Robinson, Rufus Thomas, Sam Cooke, Willie Nelson and Stevie Wonder. The drummer on this record was Mitch Mitchell, who would famously form one third of the Jimi Hendrix experience in October 1966. Sweet Things was a major hit, reaching number four in the Enemy album charts. Copies in mint condition today are valued at £35 in the Rare Record Price Guide. This LP, and for that matter the single, Get Away were the last releases by Georgie Fame together with the Blue Flames, whom he disbanded in October 1966. Subsequent performances would be billed either as a solo artist or with Georgie Fame backed by the Georgie Fame Band or the Georgie Fame Orchestra. Fame's next LP was called Sound Venture released in late 1966 and recorded with the Harry South Big Band, which included stellar musicians and players such as Ronnie Scott and Tubby Hayes. This comprised mainly jazz songs, marking a departure or a noted departure from his rhythm and blues sound with the Blue Flames. Although there was still a nod to rhythm and blues with the inclusion of their cover of James Brown's Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. The LP peaked at number six in the Enemy album chart and gained a great deal of artistic acclaim for Georgie Fame and resulting in a joint tour with the US jazz great Count Basie. In the Rare Record Price Guide, copies of Sound Venture in mint condition are currently valued at £40. The single Sunny was released to coincide with the LP Sound Venture. This is a soulful jazz song written by Bobby Hebb and Georgie Fame's version reached number 12 in the singles charts in October 1966, competing and indeed outperforming in the same chart as Bobby Hebb's own version. The follow-up single called Sitting in the Park 
reached number 11 in February 1967 and was his final 7-inch for Columbia Records. Upon Georgie Fame's imminent move to CBS, Columbia had assembled a Greatest Hits compilation in March 1967, aptly titled Hall of Fame, which includes a selection of Georgie Fame's biggest chart singles, such as Yeah Yeah, Get Away, Sunny and Sitting in the Park, alongside choice album tracks from 1964 to 6, such as his covers of John Mayall's Something, Point of No Return, written by Jerry Goffin and Carole King, and Outrage, written by or performed by Booker T and the MGs. Like all of Georgie Fame's Columbia LPs in the 60s, this is on the black and light blue label design with text printed in silver. It was released in mono only with the catalogue number SX6120. It features the notice sold in the UK subject to resale price conditions with the gramophone company rim text and an all rights reserved notice as well as the statement made in Great Britain. The inner bag is a non die cut paper sleeve with printed text stating made in Great Britain and patents applied for. Typical of the 1966 to 1967 pressings by EMI, such as the Beatles album Revolver and the early Pink Floyd LPs. The sleeve is a front laminated flipback type, stating patents pending to the lower flipback. It is printed and manufactured in England by Garrett and Lofthouse Limited. Hall of Fame was another big selling LP peaking at number 9 in the New Musical Express album charts in April 1967 and copies in mint condition are currently valued in the Rare Record Price Guide at £20. And this just about brings to a close my rundown of the 1960s, mid-1960s recordings on the Columbia label by Georgie Fame uh, as a solo artist or as Georgie Fame and the Blue Flames. That's your lot for this episode from the Rare Record Room. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did like the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more and to receive notifications for any new uploads. Thanks for watching. See you next time.